Well, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Bob Courtney. I am one of your classmates in Unit 4. Um, and this is my Unit 4 discussion board video. Um, just an FYI, about an hour ago my uh, computer crashed and while I was typing all my notes, which I was just about done with, and uh, I lost everything. So I thought, well, I can spend another couple hours putting together notes or I can go ahead and just scratch down the ideas that I remembered and give it my best shot. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, this video kind of represents Lev Vygotsky. Uh, he was a Soviet psychologist between 1896 and 1934 that had some really good ideas on studies for younger children. Um, one of his ideas and uh, was the theory of inner subjectivity and what that ref refers to is when you get more than one person trying to how can I describe it? trying to solve a problem and uh, by putting together a bunch of children let's say in a group setting you let them know what the problem is and what the best solution to that problem is and by doing that you're getting different ideas from all the different kids um, if it means them just speaking their ideas, writing them down, um, and with that idea, you build an answer that's probably a lot better than what one person can come up with by themselves. Something you can do all your life um, in a group setting, throughout your studies, in a business. Um, in the corporate field, whenever you have uh, more than one person, as they say, two heads are better than one. And uh, I found that in my life to always be um, a better idea. But also doing that, Vygotsky came up with the term scaffolding in studies. And what that means is you kind of build that um, subject of whatever the problem is to the best solution. Um, and sometimes it may be in, let's say in uh, education, you may be bringing in a child that's in the sixth grade to help kids that are in the third or fourth grade, maybe with drawing or reading or um, different subjects like history maybe that person just is a history nerd but the third graders are kind of like ah this isn't fun well maybe that sixth grader came up with ideas of what she or he learned about history that's maybe more fun than what they're learning in the third grade so getting that idea from somebody a little older and more knowledgeable um, can help the younger ones learn. Um, I kind of just went through that with my 10-year-old uh, grandson. He just started football this year, and he's in a fourth grade football team. Well, about three weeks into practice, um, the coaches decided, well, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the sixth grade um, football team to play against them every practice and let the fourth graders see what kind of skills the sixth graders had because they've been playing for a couple of years longer. Well, after about five to six weeks of that, it was amazing the knowledge that the younger kids learned on plays um, and football strategies that they never knew because somebody with more knowledge was teaching them by 
play, just playing against them. And uh, that's the same thing with scaffolding. You know, in uh, construction, the word scaffolding would mean building brackets around whatever you are creating. And then when you get done, you take the scaffolding down and your project is built. So that is uh, kind of the idea that I got out of Vygotsky. Um, the other thing we're asked on this video is what role does internationalization play in the group learning process? I believe, especially in these days, um, it's very important. First of all, I don't care what class you go into, um, you're going to have an international field of students. And by that, I mean they're different ethnic groups, um, different nationalities. And uh, if you put them in a group and ask them questions, you probably get a lot of different answers because of where they were brought up or what they learn at home. And uh, at first, I'm sure these kids or some of these kids will probably say, hey, I don't want nothing to do with them because I was told, eh, you know what? I don't like those kind of people. Or I don't like the way they look or where they came from. But when it comes right down to it, they're all the same. And usually, if you can get past um, those ideas, you'll find those kids will get along. And what you learn from another national ethnic type child from another country and what he learns from you or she learns from you is something that you can take with you throughout your life. Um, so I think it's very important to have uh, an international Realization play in a group setting. I think that's very important in schools these days. And uh, that kind of concludes my part of this discussion board. I hope you liked it. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's, seeing what you look like, see what you sound like. Um, and you know what the funny part is? We probably all sound different than how we're coming across on the video because I'm sure we're all kind of nervous on the first time especially if you haven't done these before um, I have spent a lot of time in the corporate field and I gave a lot of lectures and things like that but when you sit in front of a camera and just try to get yourself across it's a whole different type of ball game so anyway so far I really enjoyed everybody's discussion boards and um, I hope you enjoy this one. I hope it made a little sense, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.